Hello, welcome to year three. We're really looking forward to meeting you in September and we wish we could take you around the school ourselves, but we hope you enjoy our virtual tour instead. When you come in in the mornings, you will head down the main path towards the main entrance. Then you will go round the right side of the building. It's really important to make sure that you come into school every day on time. Round the side of the building is the parents waiting area. They need to wait outside the yellow box. Year 3 children are allowed to cross the yellow box and you'll come in through these doors straight into our hall. One of the Year 3 staff will be here to meet you in the mornings and answer any questions or deal with any problems that your parents might like to speak to us about. When you come into the hall, you will sit down quietly and wait with another member of the Year 3 staff. You will already be familiar with the school hall because this is where you have had your lunch before. But we will also have assemblies here. On Friday, we have a reward assembly with Mr King. And on other days, we will have assemblies either with just year three and four or with the whole school. These are collective worship. And sometimes we might have a singing practice. Singing practices help us to get ready for events like Harvest Festival at St John's Church. We also have visitors to assemblies once every fortnight and somebody will come and speak to us. They're really fun. On special occasions, Bethel Church will invite us over the road to come and visit them. As well as having your lunch and assemblies in the school hall, you will sometimes have PE lessons here. But of course you will still have PE lessons in the gym, which you're used to. And sometimes we have visiting coaches come to teach us. Once the doors close in the morning, your teacher will then lead you through the corridor. And if you have a packed lunch, you'll be able to leave it on the packed lunch trolleys before we head up to the classroom. On the way to the Year 3 classrooms, we'll go past the office and the historical timelines. Sometimes you might be asked to take the register down to the junior office. It's not far from the infant office, so if you know where that is, you won't lose your way. You're going to be going up and down stairs quite a lot in the juniors, and we walk in two lines, so it's very important that you stay in your line, in your side of the corridor, and that you hold onto the handrail with one hand. At the top of the stairs is where we keep our lost coats. We always seem to end up with quite a lot of them, so please make sure that your name is in everything that you bring into school. Here are the Year 3 coat hooks. They're just by the classrooms. It's very useful to bring a bag in with you to school, but nothing too big. You will also need to bring your PE kit in, in a small bag. This might be kept with your coat or it might be kept in your classroom. This is Miss Hawksworth's classroom. This is where class 2H will be going. When you come in in September, it might not look exactly like this, but it will definitely be this room. And this is Mr Russell's room. And again, it might look a little bit different when 2W come in here in September. Of course, not all of our lessons are in the classroom. Here is an exciting day that we had during our prehistoric times topic when we were visited by an actual dinosaur. It was amazing. We have a Stone Age day, which is also part of our prehistoric times topic and we are visited by historian Adrian, who tells us all about what life was like so very long ago. And during our Italy topic, we have a Roman day, and Adrian came back and taught us all about the Romans and what life was like when the Romans came to Britain. 
We're now going to take you on a little tour around the rest of the school and see some rooms that you might need to find. This is the Year 3 and 4 corridor, which is where you will find the rainbow rooms. These are two lovely bright coloured rooms where you might come to do some work. Sometimes you will be taken here with a small group by a teacher or a teaching assistant. Continuing along the Year 3 and 4 corridor, we find the computer suite. This is where you will do your computing lessons and we will teach you all sorts of computing skills and especially how to use the internet safely. This is Mr King's room. Mr King is our head teacher. He loves sport and organises lots of sporting events and competitions. Moving along the corridor and round the corner, we find our music area and our library corner. Here we might ask you to choose a book for your home reader or perhaps a book to read for pleasure. Next to the reading corner by the library, you will find our dojo shop. This is very exciting because this is where you get to spend your dojos. You might be familiar with dojos already. These are points that we give out to you for hard work and for good behaviour. If you behave well and work hard and stay out of detention, you'll be able to take part in many rewards and activities. This is laser tag and it was such fun last year. Here is our Easter bingo reward. This was a lot of fun too and there was quite a lot of chocolate available. We are very fond of chocolate in year three as our very first topic is actually chocolate. There's a small hill going down from the dojo shop and this goes along our art corridor. Along this corridor you will find the girls' toilets and a little further towards year five are the boys' toilets. At the start of year five is Mr Williams' room. Mr Williams is in charge of behaviour the dojo shop and our rewards, so make sure your behaviour is really good. As we continue past Year 5, you can see Year 6 right at the bottom of the corridor. There are two rooms by Year 6 that you might visit. One is the staff room and the other is Mrs Horton's meeting room. Mrs Horton is our deputy head and she loves it when teachers send children to show her their good work. For assemblies, break times, lunch times and going home, we will need to head back down the stairs. Again, we need to remember to walk safely in our two lines and keep one hand on the handrail. Wherever we're going, we will always head back past the lunch trolleys. And if we're going out for playtime or lunchtime, we will turn left and go alongside the infant playground onto the junior school playgrounds. As we go out onto the playgrounds, we pass the toilets on the right hand side. These are our playtime and lunchtime toilets and you might have seen them before as they're right next to the gym. We're very lucky because we have two playgrounds for the junior school. This one is the football cage playground because it has a football cage but there's a nice grassy area next to some trees as well which we can use when the weather is nice. Our second playground is the tyres playground. Can you guess why it's called that? It's because on the grassy area we have some tyres that you can climb. It's lots of fun. We also have a garden which is brand new and children have been working really, really hard to get it up and running. Hopefully you might be able to help. At the end of the day, we pick up our lunch boxes and we go out through the hall and back to the yellow box. Children will wait inside the yellow box with their teachers and parents will wait outside. Once you've seen your parent, let your teacher know and they will send you off to them. If parents need to speak to the Year 3 teachers, 
they should wait until the teachers have taken any leftover children round to the front of the building by the office. This is to make sure that we know where everybody is and that everybody is nice and safe. And finally, meet the Year 3 team. Mr Russell will be teaching 2W, who will now be called 3R. And Miss Hawksworth will be teaching 2H, who will now be called 3H. Our teaching assistants are Miss Shaw and Miss Burdett. We're so excited to meet you. We hope you have a great summer holiday and read lots and lots of books. We look forward to seeing you in September. <laughs>